everyone. Welcome to another episode of Talk with Emma's. Today, we are going to talk about social media. I'm Sarah, and in this podcast, I'm with our amazing participant, Elsa. Hello, Elsa. How's life? Wonderful today. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. For the audiences who are still questioning about English Massive or Emma's, I'll give you information about them. English Massive or Emma's is an official English training program provided by Kadili City Government. This program is free for Kadili citizens. To get more information about us, you can visit our website at emas.pendidikan.kadilikota.co.id. This podcast is one of the new programs for post-advanced participants that focuses on speaking skill application. This podcast is released twice in a month on Spotify, Talk with Emma's, or our YouTube channel, English Massive TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow our Instagram account at English Massive, ya? Yeah? Without any further ado, let's get started! English Massive Podcast, Talk with Emma's. Okay, before we start our podcast today, I would like to introduce our amazing participant. Okay, Elsa, please introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Elsa Fazira. You can call me Elsa. I'm 15, and now I'm in senior high school. Okay, that was amazing. By the way, I'm so glad to have you as my partner today. Really? Me too. I heard that this is your first podcast, yeah? Yeah, that's right. This is my first time. Wow. How do you feel right now? Actually, I'm a little bit nervous, but it's probably one of my special experience. So I'm excited about this. Wow. Yeah, don't be nervous because we're going to share sharing like our experience to use social media. So yeah, I just relax. But, but nervous is normal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So yeah, when I first do my podcast, like yeah, yeah. I'm very nervous, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. In this modern era, technology has involved, such as social media. We all need social media to fulfill our needs. People spend most of their precious time on social media. Related to the current issue. Let's listen Elsa's opinion about it. Elsa, what do you know about social media? Um, in my opinion, social media is a place of expression with an infinite range. I think we can upload anything, comment anything, and ask anything. Actually, I use social media to make new friends, so even with limited distance, we can still communicate well. Yes. That's pretty right. With social media, many people prefer to connect online rather than to connect with others in real life. Um, Maybe I can do it with this one because, yeah, you know, I'm more comfortable in chat rather than to offline. So Elsa, do you prefer to connect online or offline? I prefer online rather than offline. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Because we are going to talk about social media. So, I must ask you this question. When do you use social media? Of course, when I'm poor and there's nothing I can do. Um, like, I have no work to finish and I'm chilling. Uh, how about you? Do you use social media daily? Well, for me, yeah, I social media daily. I was like, nearly play social media, like, yeah, I'm like always on it. I think that another factor is, especially now, in 2021, in this digital era, everything is online. Yeah, that's right. We use handphone every day, and if you open your handphone, you will also open the social media, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, in this pandemic, we spend more time at home than outside, use social media every day. Um, by the way, uh, may I know what application you use the most? Well, for me, 
the application that I use the most are WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter. But <laughs> actually, I don't know how to use Twitter. <laughs> I just <yeah. laughs> I just want to see what is trending on. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and TikTok is the application I use the most too. But I can mm. say that my favorite one is TikTok. Because there's, yeah, you know, there's a lot of funny videos there and it makes me laugh. And it can cheer me up. Like, I don't know, it's like, yeah. oh my God, I'm so obsessed with TikTok. <laughs> like, I, I can I spend you. like two hours just to scroll TikTok. And <laughs> I think scroll TikTok also gives me a negative impact. It will take my mm-hmm. study time, my sleeping time. In my eating time up, what about you, Elsa? What application do you use the most? Um, number one is, I think it's WhatsApp because all of my information and communication is there. Um, after that is YouTube. YouTube is my healing. I watch a lot of it there, like streaming. I'm a fun girl, by the way. I like BTS. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> And then Instagram and also Twitter, but I'm not sure with Instagram. I just delayed. Um, I just delayed that application today. Oh, why you delayed it? My memory, you know. Oh that's yeah. That's problem. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you have a lot of application that you use the most, yeah. But if you have to choose, which one is your most favorite? Oh my god, it's so hard, but I think uh, I'm gonna choose WhatsApp. Wow, WhatsApp. Why you choose WhatsApp? Yeah. Because I can contact my closest people there, see their activity. And I think I'm just, yeah, I'm happy just with that. Uh, by the way, it's, it's the most important application in my school <laughs> because all announcements will be shared via WhatsApp. Ah, I see. Yeah. So your teacher gave you assignment on WhatsApp, right? Yeah, not at all, but yeah. Okay, I see. Now, what do you think are the advantage and disadvantage when you use the application based on your experience? Um, I think the advantage is that I'm more connected with my friend. Um, and also, no my information from my school earlier but the disadvantage is i often waste time chatting with my friend ah i see oh i see yeah okay you mentioned that you use twitter right yeah 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 Yeah. i use twitter too and i think that twitter is the fastest platform where we know what yeah what we know that things are trending yeah 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 like all trending it start on twitter yeah you know and yeah, I think I my mom doesn't have twitter yeah oh yeah this one uh so my mom like she sells something and she just promote it yeah. on whatsapp on status whatsapp you know oh so, my god <laughs> yeah so i told her to to download instagram so I was like, Mom, please don't Instagram so you can promote it on Instagram. And I think it's very work. That's right. Yeah, that's but right. I don't know, like, she doesn't want to download it. Like, why? Like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Um, does she have Facebook? Yeah, that's right. She have it, but she does not promote it on Facebook. I don't know why. Maybe she choose WhatsApp because that's uh what 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 can I say? It's like easier. Yeah, I think I think that's right. So yeah. yeah. So it's related to Gen X and Gen Z. So hmm. now we cannot talk about the difference in the use of social media between Gen X and Gen Z. 
Okay, I will start from Gen X. According to Sprocksocial.com, 74% of Gen X also say that social media is an essential part of their life. When it comes to platform preferences, YouTube and Facebook reign supreme, suggesting that this group is more likely to stick to the social channels they know. Like, yeah, it's right. Like my mom, like, see, I was watching the same YouTube channel, you know, like, <laughs> like Wong. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah like, she can't watch by more like all day with volume full, so the whole house <laughs> can hurt it. Oh my god, your mom is so fun. Yeah, I think so. So, what do you think about Gen Z, Elsa? Um, Gen Z, um, I think 66% of Gen Z consumers say that social media is essential part of their lives. But the reasoning is unique. The most common reason Gen Z uses social media is to kill time, making them the only generation to rank that above connecting with family and friends. Ah, I see. So, Gen Z use social media is to kill time. It means that you social media, media tend to be more into useless activities than useful. Okay? Yeah. Let's move on a little bit. While we are talking about social media, it reminds me that social media has negative and positive side for us. Yes, it's true. I have read article about that, so there are negative and positive sides social media for us like number one faster communication whether people live in the same city or across the world from one another they can easily communicate with the help of social media you can either communicate with people belonging to different countries and cultures and then number two search of learning one of the positive effects of social media is that act as a source of income, you can also learn money by making blogs, working on YouTube, and number three, platform for sharing the skills. You can easily share your skills and talents with communicators. So, social media provides a great platform for your abilities. Okay, after we talk about the positive side, of course, every single thing has their negative side. I think that social media also has negative side. One, depression. While, on the other hand, lacking a strong connection with people can cause a serious risk to your mental and emotional health. Humans are social creators. Our connection with friends or other people has a huge effect on our mind. Two, editing our life. You start cutting photos in which you don't look good. It is because you want other people to see how perfect and powerful your life is. People change their whole life just to impress the bunch of people on social media. I think I can do it because, yeah, when I want to post something on Instagram, I will editing it. And I think, <laughs> like, yeah, and I think like some people who edit their photo. She will judge by people like, well, oh, you're pretty because of filter. Yeah, you know, like, just like that. Yeah, uh, just in case, um, I did that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, three, wasting our time. Social media is a time waster without even realizing it. You might spend hours every single day browsing through different platforms. Okay, now we have talked a lot about social media. We talked about the difference in the use of social media between Gen X and Gen Z. We also talked about negative and positive side of social media. Thank you very much, Elsa, for joining me in this special episode. Oh, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. I enjoy talking with you about social media. Okay, if you have questions or you want to share your opinion, you can write in our chat box. We are waiting for you. Okay, that's all about social media today. Thank you for listening and see you on the next episode of Talk with Emma. 
Bye.